Have you noticed that uh, so often, and we can really look and see, whenever we refer to ourselves or to others, I, you, he, she, they, is followed by some verb. I do, I think, I want, I go, she went, she said, like this. If you can really reflect on it, you see that how often the sense I is connected with action, a doing. Even I sit, I feel, I think, I remember. You said. Very often when we use this kind of I, you, she, they, is followed by some intention to act, to do, to be involved in some kind of movement. So therefore, I would recommend, having looked at that, quietly by yourself, each one, and see this kind of link in reference to ourself. Begin with yourself, of course. How important it is to affirm, I am. I am. Feel immediately the stillness of that. It is not taking you out. It is not connecting to some otherness, to some intention, to some activity, but simply to rest in one's own being. I am. And even if you were to repeat, I am, at some point, and each time, I am, to give some space of silence. Then, instead of saying again, I am, feel I am without the words also, so that we see I am beyond words, before words, prior to words. Even prior to thought, even before thought, what is referred to as I am simply is. It is not a verb. It is not a verb. It is an indication, a reference to, a direct affirmation of self. Not person, not person, the beingness, that which is of God. Stillness, silence. Openness. Contentment. Rest. Oneness.
And I would recommend that we take a little time to sit in that field of stillness, conscious. So not I sleep, I rest. No, I am. And watch that the tendency to connect with some activity I wish, I believe, I think. So all this I and the next thing is stripped away. Just am. So when I say I am, I'm referring to that pure still existence, awareness, consciousness, rest. <laughs> 